oh no. I just deleted my entire web page. Do you know how long I've worked on this? I spent hours getting it just right and now everything is gone. <laughs> Hello, fellow creators and mom entrepreneurs. Yes, sometimes stuff hits the fan and it is bad stuff. So I am Jody the Mom from lifeunbox.blog and this is another Divi tip. So I'm creating this series or have created the series and you can find the playlist in the show notes below teaching you how to use Divi for beginners because I believe that as a mom entrepreneur, you are more than capable of creating an awesome looking website on your own. So if you invest the time that it takes for learning and the money to get the right theme and the hosting, you can do this on your own. So for this tip, it is for everyone who uses WordPress, because whether you use the Divi theme or something else, you need to know how to restore a page in WordPress. And this is one of the most common panicky questions that I see. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to do it. But before I show you how to actually restore your web page, I'm going to show you the two most common ways to delete it in Divi. <laughs> so if... Um, if you know what to avoid, then hopefully you won't need this tip in the long run. Okay, so we're on our test site. And if you want to learn how to create this website, there is another playlist on how to create a website for beginners. And I take you through section by section on how to create all of this. So again, I'll leave that link in the show notes below. All right, so let's go to our dashboard. And I'm going to show you as soon as we get there. Okay, I am going to show you some of the most common ways to delete your web page. First, let's go into the Divi Builder, the Divi Theme Builder. So we're down in Divi and into the Theme Builder. Okay. So as you know, and as we've discussed in previous videos, you can create templates that will go across your website uh, in the Divi Theme Builder. So create the global header, create the footer, it'll show up on every single page on your website. You can even create um, pages, like design specific ones. You can exclude pages from the template, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. These I like using um, the template settings for blog post because then I just design the page once, and after that I just it's a matter of inserting the content and it's designed how I want it to design instead of designing over and over. So if you go to exclude from, you can select pages to exclude the template from. So in other words, the template won't apply to these pages. And you can select specific, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so if you create a template, so let's say you select template, you already have 500 blog posts on your website, but you decided you want to just create a standard template. So you select all post. This is what's going to happen. Everything is going to be deleted. <laughs> So one of the most the one of the most common ways, and I just actually got a panic text from my sister the other day, like, I just deleted my page. How do I get it back? And actually, because it was a Divi template, we couldn't get it back. But that's okay. She just redid it. So this is why I'm sharing this with you, so you don't delete it to start with. So if you were to create a template, select all posts is going to delete everything. So just keep that in mind. If you, the Divi Builder is going to override any settings you have for pages and posts. So keep that in mind. The next, let's go to our pages. 
and we'll just come in here and we're just going to click the title because if you click the title you are taken to the back end now what has happened here before is you it looks like you know they've ch they changed things over the years but you get confused and you go where's my stuff so you hit update maybe or switch to draft or you hit return to the default builder if you hit return to the default to the default builder and save your page it's going to delete your divi builder settings and what you've done in the divi builder because your content is all in the divi builder this is gutenberg back here and don't worry i'm working on another tip where we talk about all of this terminology so this is the wordpress gutenberg builder and since your content is not here and you want to if you want to, if you hit return to the default editor which is the gutenberg one it's gonna be like oh they don't want divi anymore we can just dump all that stuff which is not what we want to happen okay but you can restore your page and what you do is you you do come in how we did it where we hit the title and not edit with the divi builder and you're going to come over here to where it says revisions. Okay. And we're going to click revisions and you're going to see these are, oh, you can roll everything back to like two weeks ago, two weeks ago. So you can roll it back and then you would hit whichever vi revi uh, revision you select, you would hit restore these two versions or we can come and we can compare so let's compare these two so we can kind of look to see what the changes are and it's not showing any changes there we go so I can see that it was removed added all that kind of good stuff but since I don't want to restore or override anything we're not gonna hit restore this version this revision but let's just see what happens when we do. So we're going to preview. So it totally deleted the page because that's, um, that's what the old, the other, the previous version was. So we're not going to panic. What we're going to do in this case, we're just not going to update the page. We're not going to save it. So we'll just go back to all pages and it should be there. Let's find out. Nope. So you know what? We're going to have to restore it. And so we hit the title. Okay. So now we have six revisions. So we're going to go there. And so we just want to take it back to our last one. Okay, we don't hit next. Sorry about that. So I want to restore this one. All right, let's go there. Restore. And we'll preview. Everything is back just how we wanted. So you can easily restore your page. Sometimes it has gone too far. So maybe there's revisions, 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 and it just went too far to restore back to what you want. But for the most part, you should be able to easily restore your web page like I just showed you. So hopefully um, you won't be so far gone and the revision will be restored. So again, I hope you never have to use that, I show, but it's good to know, like just to have that in your back pocket in case you do ever have to use it. And actually we're going to, oh, we're not in the visual builder. We're going to go ahead and save this. Um, so as it's loading, um, I hope you never reach the point of needing to use this. But I've had to use this. I have almost cried because somehow, and I don't even remember how I did it, my page that I had been literally working on for hours got deleted and 
So then I had to figure out, I, it was my husband who actually found it because I was at the moment of panic um, to go through and restore the page. So keep this in your back pocket, subscribe to the channel so you can find it again, like the video so it's, e so it's there. YouTube knows this is what you're looking for and just hold on to the information because you never know when you're going to need it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the rest of the Divi tips. Again, I will leave the playlist is going to pop up here at the end. And you can just go through that playlist and learn how to create a website on your own. Because mom, this is not hard. Um, yes, there is a learning curve, but it's worth it to learn it. And I will see you in the next Divi tip. <laughs>